and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling Network. Round nine? I think it's round nine, where I'm using Yu the deck if you those of you who do not know who Yu Ya is, this is a Yu Ya deck, not his actual deck. What it I'm only calling it Yu Ya deck because when I bought this deck it was like half light, half dark, but on the picture was Yu Ya, who is the new antagonist in the new one. Or is it protagonist? One of the two. He's the main character anyway, with red and green hair, symbolizing the pendulum monsters. We've got this one, I think we've got two more afterwards to do, then we can roll straight onto it. So before we do anything else, let's join into the pool and do a match with this deck. I don't know how well I'll, I will be using or how well I will be with this deck. Because, um... I'm not new, well, because it's like two decks mixed into one with like a bunch of cards that added to it to try and make it more pendulum wise or something like that. But um, usually this this was a deck that was supposed to be shared between two people, so you'll have like 20 cards each, but you play like a shorter version of the Yu-Gi-Oh! where you only picked up three cards at a time, which is weird. Um, and that's why. I, I don't know. Excuse me, I'm a bit tired. That's why I don't know what to do with this deck, mainly because it's like a jumbled up mash of things. But um, if I pull out the right cards at the right time, I should be able to get things what I need to do. So, let's go on with this one. People now on this website should be using the link for it. Give me a minute! Okay, so we've got, oh, I've got one of my favourite cards on this, that's fine. Um, am I going first? No, he is. Your opponent's life points are higher than 3,000, it's like 1,000 to my opponent. Okay. I might make an inflect deck, it'd be awesome. Okay. Sweet. Now it's my turn, which is... Don't really need that. I need more power on the field. All right, we can deal with this, I guess. Um, I can. I will actually. Activate the left, which should be okay. And then I will summon this in attack mode. Nice little attack. Okay, I lose 600, and then that changes to defense, I didn't say grave, it said defense, I must have clicked to grave like an idiot, there we go. Ah. I can take that out, so it's fine. Alright. Trying to think now. 12. 18 is not strong enough just yet. Not going to activate this one, though. I need more power from somewhere. Um, I will set this down. And keep it when I need it. And I will... Change this... To attack... So I can attack this one as well. See what happens. Well, what are you doing, son? Okay, 200 to me. I think he's using a Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi deck. The next time he's not going to be so lucky. I'm trying to think now. Well, what's this? Inflict 1,000 damage to your opponents. Five points of five hundred. Yep. Okay. This guy is literally an inflict deck, but he's literally what he is using. Um, I think. Eighteen. Twenty-one. Twenty-four. Twenty-seven. Okay. So I've got my power card now. Okay, it's your turn, dude. 
I've dealt. What are you doing? I know what I'm doing on my next turn. You and me, say you can pay money in July for mix. Take your phone directly. Ah! <laughs> but guess what? Huh. I could wait out a little bit. Because what I could do. I'm doing it the first turn when this face card down, I know that this hour to buy a spell card, change the defense up to the face up defense position. If you do negate, okay, if this card is attacked, to change it to the attack position at the end of the damage step. Right. So, I'm going to flip you into attack. I'm going to flip you into attack. That's what I want it to do. And then I'm going to summon this. Enter the battle phase. I'm going to attack this which I'll lose 600 that goes into attack come on it now changes into attack, it even says so. If this card is attacked, it changes to attack position at the end of the damage step, not the phase. It didn't say at the end of damage phase. It's still, but that, that damage step has gone now. Damage step is when single card attacks. The damage phase, no, the battle phase is where attacks are made place. So now your card switches. Yeah. In place right okay so then I attack with this which is on 3 6 9 12 15 18 I've done it wrong I've done 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 24 27 my monster is on 2,700. There we go. He had to calculate it himself. It's on 2,700. Okay. And I will end my turn. <clears throat> you can only get stronger. I love the freaking calculator. It's such a good okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, level 4 high monsters cannot attack. This is a good thing you're a level 2 then, isn't it? <laughs> um, to the grave with you. And normal summon this. Battle phase. Attack that with that. There we go, and I can't then tap with me, uh, my um, Metaphys Arm Dragon because it's a level 7. But. <clears throat> there is a blind spot to Gravity Bind. And I didn't know this. Oh. There is a blind spot to Gravity Bind. You beautiful bastard, you. I did not know this. It's your turn, dude. I've done my turn. I've attacked. I couldn't do anything else. Is it an incident or something? Okay, never mind. Right then, so, my next turn. 
will be now. What's this? When a monster special from the other side of the field, target will face up monster opponent control the mice that target. When a monster special summon, I will set that down now. And I will set this down. Enter my battle phase and attack with that. My monster is on still 2700 attack. Because it is very strong. And there's a blind spot to the gravity bind, and what we're talking about is that is monsters under one levels, monsters one. Oh, during each of your opponent's standby phase, your opponent draws one card. Each during your opponent's standby phase, this card, your opponent draws one card. This card must be in face-up defense position to activate and resolve this effect. Okay, nothing happens. But it's not my main. It's not my standby phase. When it's my standby phase, I get to card. He's going to beat me just by doing this to me. Until it pulls out, it pulls out his Exodia card. But he's fucked up now because what I can do, I didn't change that, is um, I'm gonna flip summon this and then normal summon this, which is obviously they're two level four monsters. But my monster's gone up dramatically. I didn't draw a card, and I should have done due to your card's effects. I drew a card, um, and then I can enter the battle phase, where I'm going to attack that. And then I'm going to end, do my main phase 2, view this, let's we'll see if I've got a level 4 anywhere. Yes, I have Utopia. I thought I did. Okay. Um, overlay on that one. And then you to special summon and attack. Overlay on top of those. <clears throat> uh, target one face up monster open control. I can't do that anyway, so I enter now. <clears throat> My monster's gone down a lot. I don't know what it's on now. 7. 30. 33. It's on 39. 3,900. Um, whoops. You know what? Fuck it. Okay, so that's... I need to recalculate this now. Okay, then. Yeah, you're gonna win that one, boy. <laughs> you just fucked up. Because with the um, effect, like I tried to mention, with the black cards, it's a rank, not a level, so therefore they are allowed to attack. Which is where his deck is fucking over. Himself. It's a decent, decent deck, this deck. It's nice. I like it. His, his deck is just not working well for him. The calculator is his weakness. Almost. Almost. But I've got Axe Despair. That's not the right Axe Despair I wanted. I need to change that. But oh well. You must have looked wrong every, different, every time. It takes too long. Unless he hasn't got the pictures and he has to read it all. I don't know. Because that's why when I see pictures, I see the name, I see the pictures. I don't know what it does. Because you remember pictures more than names, so that's why. Unless he's using a completely new deck and doesn't know what he's actually fucking doing. I don't know. It ruins it when they've got to read. It's your turn, dude. I don't know who he is. I'm just trying to plan my move out. I'm going to play Stargazer Munition in the left until I get the other one. I might do Swip Snake and put it with Axe of Despair. To be honest. Seems like a nice little handle on things. Koozie's already starting with this stuff. It didn't work last time. See if it works this time. If a Pendle Monster you control battles your opponent. 
Uh, unless you have a magician or card or odd ice card and your other pendulum zone, this card scale becomes four, and then it would break that because that is also a four. Oh well. Right. Next turn, which is mine. I want stim pack. If the equipped monster gains 700 during each of your standby phases, the equipped monster gains 200. I don't want to do that. No. But first of all, I'm going to activate this to the left. Once per turn during your player's main phase, you can target one face up monster on the field, switch its current attack and defense until the end of the turn. I'm going to do this. And activate this. Battle phase, boy. End attack. It can only kill two of his cards that I've seen so far. But he can do something else if it is Big Shield Gardener. But I don't know. Okay, it's Big Shield Gardener. He didn't do his effect, and he should have done. I think he plays turn on a face down card. Why are you losing 100? Why do you lose 100? Why do you lose 100? I don't get it. I'm not attacked to you. It was in defense. I really got confused, man. Do not do that to me, sir. <laughs> it was in defense, dude. Jesus. Right. I've only got one card you need to be careful of, and that's his distant destiny hero. I need this card to have. I need to try and get the cards out of my hand somehow. As long as this card remains based upon the field, any effect of increasing your opponent's life points is changed to inflict the same amount of your points. As long as this card remains face upon the field, any effect of increasing your opponent's life points is changed to inflict the same amount of points in damage to your opponent's life points. Your opponent gains 3,000 life points. You bastards. You bastard. That was actually very clever. I'm not going to deny that. And that remains on the field. Okay then. So, here we go. I'm going to set this down. So I'm going to draw a card next turn. Let's see what we've got here. Inflate 400 points of damage to, to your opponent for each card in your opponent's hand. 200. Your monster still does die though. I'm just going to ignore it. I'm not going to start enough fights. So, end. I think you might win this one. So it's going to go to a round three to see who can win that one. His weakness is the calculator. I know that much. Alright then. Can't be normal summon or set. Bastard! I don't have none in the graveyard. You douche. Flip. Into attack, you douche. Draw. Get Beast of Talwar instead. Right, then I can send you to the grave. To normal summon. Beast of Talwar. Hee <laughs> hee. Battle phase. Attack for 2,700. And attack directly for 2,400. Enter. <clears throat> I've got light in the graveyard, now he's trying to get a dark in the fucking graveyard. But how? I need to try and get rid of one of my dark cards. I may do a sacrifice and get rid of it, but even though this is only like 100 weak, and so there's no real point. Although. Its effect is worth it. Hmm, let's see what it's got to do though, because I've got two powerful monsters, so it helps. Just needs to try and get rid of that dark card. Okay then. Hmm. Negate attack. Just to get rid of some shit. You quit monster gain seven hundred attack. Okay, so let's activate this now, and that goes on to, um, on to Talwar. There we go. Battle phase. 
attack. So about 700, so it's on 3,100. I don't know what you can do about that, boy. Should have done the other way around. Didn't matter. So I've got next turn to turn this all around. Then it will be on 2,900. His deck's not good. It's just an infliction deck. He's lost. Gravity Bind. Level 4. Higher monsters cannot attack. You stupid motherfucker. This guy's in your hand. You can tribute one white monster from your hand deck or your side of the field to the graveyard if you do special summon this card. If this card is in your hand, you can tribute one light monster. I don't have a light monster. So either way, to the grave to you. To the grave. To the grave. To the grave. Normal summon this. And in doing so, go in here. Um, banish. Banish. And special summon in attack. Hey, hey. Um, I can't do anything at the moment. Let me try and get rid of that somehow. When opponent's monster declares an attack. Okay. Well, you have no cards in your hand. No, can't do anything else. Um, when this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls. Never mind. Can't do anything else there, but I've got some nice defense. That's all we really need to care about, to be honest. Okay, he can stop me until I pull out a card that can deal 200 damage. I wish I waited a turn until I had Dimension Slice. Oh, yeah, true, when this card inflicts battle damage. I need to do something here. Mm -hmm. Until you run out. You've got all the traps though, so that's the thing. All I need is two cards. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. So I going to face a monster field. I need to try and get rid of this. I can't do anything anyway because I can't special summon nothing. I can pendulum summon. That's the best thing I could do, but not really going to do much, is it, really? Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. When this card is flipped, summon, you flip one that. Oh, no. <laughs> Very good. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. It's still this turn, so I can put it back down again. So how do I get rid of that card? That is the question. It has. Now I know where it is. Hmm. Damn. It can't attack. I need a monster that can attack, and I've got none at the moment. Shit. Touche. Touche, my friend. Touche. Because he can do it again and again and again. I need any kind of monster whatsoever my next turn, and else I'm fucked. Hmm. I'll have to. This is the only thing I can effing do. What can you do? Face up once from the field, banish that target. Okay. Well then, it's over. Whoo, whoo.
Ooh. I'm done. Yeah. I could have used something else, but he had gravity bind. I had a level 4 on the fucking field. Shit. <laughs> Let's see if you know. I've got the card in my hand again. What the fuck? That's three times I've had it in my hand now. XYZ don't have levels. They have ranks. <laughs> I've won the three. Monsters. Lol, I have some for them too. <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> love it. I love the... <laughs> well, I look forward to see it. Well now. <laughs> I love the little disputes people have sometimes. They're like, ah, ha, ha, your gravity bind has a blind spot. For X, Y, Z. Has already got gravity bind? Alright then, starting off early with the attack. That'd be cool, I just wanted to switch in. Oh, you've already started the other half of you for me. Well, thank you, my good sir. Wait, the attack of this card combined will face up monsters for sure. Uh, activate. Like always, um, flip target one monster, your opponent controls, destroy it. See, now that's where you fucked up. You see, your gravity band's got a blind spot for the calculator. The strongest level 2 there is. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. What's his attack? What's his defense? 1,700, is it? Alright. Is it my turn yet? That's only 15, though. I need a stronger attack. A hell of a lot stronger attack. I can wait it out one more turn. Oh, am I now? Real, what do you do? From your hand to the graveyard, this card against 300 attack. No, I don't need that. Um, I will set this down. And then end. Please do not put no other monsters down. Good. 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 Come on. I want you to do this. End turn. End your fucking turn. Fuck. Well then. Can't use that, but that's not going to be helpful. Wait, what are you? No, never mind. Alright then. I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to do. Flip summon. Normal summon. Overlay. You. There we go. Got that one down for lockdown. Um, which is then. Ha ha ha. Goodbye, you fucking wanker. Get out of here. Next turn, I'm going to get my calculator. I can't count. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 28. Alright, you lose 802 though. 
But considering you left it in attack, probably wasn't the brightest thing you could have ever done there, was it? Considering what I'm about to do to yourself. You go that way. Good. Destroy one face that monster your opponent controls that has the highest defense. Alright. Just use that on that. It only has one thing. So yeah. I'll just flip this up. We've got no monsters, I don't care. Normal summon. Battle phase. Attack with this. 2500, okay. That with this. Chaz. 369, 18, 21, 24, 2700. Eh! Couldn't calculate it. Oh yeah! 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. Yeah! Shit! It's not a level, is it? <laughs> ah, levels! My levels, yeah, it's not a rank, so yeah. I, I ruined my own thing against me. My own thing failed me on that bit. Lol. It's alright. It's alright, it can go up a little bit stronger. It can go up 2700 next turn. If it doesn't kill it. Ah, oh, I didn't put a fucking card down. That was my fault. Should have done that, but I didn't. That was my fault. But the game is still early to watch. This is the start of something bad. This is not good. This is definitely not good. Although it requires me to take my next turn. Good. Good. Inflate 500 points of damage for your opponent's life points for each monster on your opponent's side of the field. Oh. Well then guys, that was me losing at the very end there because he just had that little bit of luck that he needed, unfortunately. Oh well, no points there. Anyway guys, so that was the end of Dueling Route Network Round 9 or 10, one of the two, I cannot remember. I'm pretty sure it's 9 or 10. Not percent sure, but I'm quite sure. Anyway, I will see you next week with when I'll be using the next deck, which is either the, I think it's the Warrior deck or the Emperor deck. You don't know what those are until you see them.